Okay, uh, Captain Larry, it's uh, Monday the uh, 27th of uh, August, and I want to state very clearly here at the outset that I posted something that was really, really wrong in video number 75 where I said to use muriatic acid to etch your cooling system. Please, please, please do not do that. Use phosphoric acid diluted to 5% or less. Do not use muriatic. You'll ruin uh, the steel components and the brass components in your cooling system and you'll poison yourself. Don't do it. Wrong material. I was wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, what I was saying uh, yesterday was that I had obtained a uh, American pipe thread inch and a quarter pipe nipple uh, which actually uh, threaded okay into this new uh, Yanmar stainless Yanmar clone uh, water-cooled elbow or mixing elbow and into my bronze nipple. I think uh, having thought about this overnight that there's so many dissimilar metals here uh, bronze uh, galvanized steel and stainless that if I can I'm going to try to do this with uh, bronze or stainless uh, but if not I'm going to epoxy uh, coat this thing inside and out uh, with with uh, high temperature paint but anyway in that same video number 75 this will replace the old number 75 I said to use uh, I was going to use muriatic acid to uh, uh, etch my cooling system uh, diluted and I'm not going to do that I'm going to buy phosphoric uh, either I'll buy the trade name barnacle buster stuff or I will uh, uh, get uh, Jasco product or a quick clean from uh, from uh, Home Depot and dilute it down please please if you buy barnacle buster do not believe their bullshit the stuff is not environmentally friendly it is not biodegradable. It's a chemical product. It's acid. For crying out loud, don't dump it in the water. Uh, be careful with this stuff. Use protective clothing. You need rubber gloves. Uh, you need to have eye protection. You need a NIOSH fume mask. And you need to keep your bucket with its pump outside of the, uh, the bilges of your boat. Put it out in the cockpit or on the dock. Uh, stuff is going to generate gas while it's dissolving the uh, the lime and calcium in your uh, system. And you don't want to breathe that crap. You don't want to blow yourself up. So, uh, a Barnacle Buster and that, uh, that so-called environmental company in Florida uh, are a bunch of jackasses uh, when it comes to their environmental statement. Go read their MS data sheet. And then come go then go and read the quick clean phosphoric acid uh, data sheet uh, that's a product so sold by Home Depot and just compare the information in the data sheets uh, the quick clean folks are very much more forthcoming about the uh, physical and uh, environmental hazards involved in using uh, phosphoric acid um, in a dilute solution it's a lot safer than muriatic it's not going to do any damage if you get the right concentration uh, but uh, you got to be careful with this stuff you don't want it on your skin uh, you don't want to splash it in your face you don't want to breathe the fumes that it generates while it's dissolving stuff so be careful and don't dump it in the ocean don't dump it in a river of the bay um, and keep a bucket get a five gallon bucket and a big box of uh, baking soda sodium bicarbonate mix it in a few gallons of water and keep that handy if you splash this stuff around, if you get it on you, uh, use that to neutralize the acid and protect yourself. And when you're done with your solution, uh, pour the bicarbonate in there slowly, uh, or pour it into the bicarbonate and water the other way around, and neutralize that acid as much as you can before you dispose of it. Uh, be kind to your sewer workers. Don't dump a bunch of raw acid down the sewer without neutralizing it first. Okay, there you go.